Welcome to Ixion, my name is Neil Laos, and this is a game that I've been super excited about since I first heard about it and now it's finally here. So you will see a lot of coverage on the channel, so stay tuned to the back on uh, this uh, glorious journey together into space. Thanks to Casita Games and Bulwark Studios for sponsoring the first video of this series, but there will be many more after this sponsored video. What is Ixion and what can you expect from this game? Well, if we look at the Steam description, it says, Authorized by the Dollars AEC, you will guide the Tycoon Space Station onwards in a perilous journey to find a new home for humanity. Station infrastructure, population management, exploration, survival, these responsibilities fall to you. Will you find hope out there in the dark? Good luck, Administrator. Well, that didn't... It, it sets up the, the sort of the theme of it, but uh, that means we are going to look at a space game, exploration, city builder, survival. It sounds absolutely amazing, but unlike many of the games that we played recently, this game also has an absolutely amazing story to, uh, to go along with it, and also some really cool cutscenes, so that's something to look forward to, especially... I mean, you're looking at one right now, and especially also at the end of the ed episode, there is a, a really cool cutscene that just blew my mind. So stay tuned for the end for that. In terms of coverage on this channel, you can expect a full playthrough. A let's play here on YouTube. I will be doing some cutting, some editing for the content. So we cut out some of the build and wait parts. So it'll be more crisp and more neatly flowing. On top of that, I will also be streaming this uh, a lot. Uh, so we'll probably be moving faster ahead on uh, on Twitch. I'm streaming it uh, tonight, starting tonight at 8 p.m. Central European time. It's at Twitch TV slash Nilaus. So if you just can't get enough uh, Ixion, uh, do not fear. Just come on over tonight and tomorrow night. Then you'll be streaming a lot of it. Or if you want it more at a leisurely pace on an episode per day, then uh, stick around here on YouTube for that kind of, uh, of Let's Play. Since this is the first in a series, of visibility for this video is key, so if you are liking this, I can kindly ask you to hit the like button, and of course, if you want to see more, consider subscribing. In this first episode, I'll be playing the prologue that you may have played yourself or seen before. It is, a, however, a great way to set up the story, the setting, and the, um, the mechanics, so it is the natural place to start, and we'll be diving further into the game in future episodes. Let's dive in. And here we are in the starting uh, sector. This is what we are. Uh, this is base our basic view of our city building location. I am going to disable you because there is a lot of chatter here. There's a lot of tutorials, and uh, for you uh, who are regulars on this channel, you know I am the tutorial. Uh, we will be getting a next transaction, and we'll be listening to the stuff that is uh, is relevant to the story. But let's uh, get started on the very basics. This is basically our city for now. Uh, we can do a few things uh, immediately that I will be building immediately, and that is we can make a workshop. Workshop will allow us to have uh, sort of supply drones that can bring stuff from these locations, and they have one builder drone that can then build roads and stuff like this. So we now have roads here. Uh, we are going to be building like this, so we get access to a lot of things uh, uh, immediately. Then we also need to, before that one completes, we need to make a stockpile as well, and we'll build that here. The stockpile will be set to what the resource it is, and we have lots more resources. We'll go through that once we're done with this location here. But, yeah. The administrator. I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks person. I'm Dolo's cryonics lead, Marduk council member Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of the local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. And then, you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. 
Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. And there is a next transmission. So what we did here was just build a workshop so we can have our workers. They will teleport to where they uh, they are at their task starts and then move to the, where the task end and then they will sort of teleport to that location again uh, then we have a the worker drone and then we have a stockpile which can store up to 100 of a specific resource we have all of these resources uh, mainly in the prologue here we will be using the alloy and also the polymers as what you have and food as well uh, we are getting up here so we're making roads just to get all these locations uh, in line and once we have done this we will see what the next transmission is or the next little quest administrator i have established a connection with dolus's lead data scientist emma clay uh, while that is building let's uh, start working on a tech lab because we would want to start getting some tech going so let's uh, get that going administrator Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the Tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos's lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or Data Listening System, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munchi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. There we go. A new request awaits your attention. So here is a, uh, we will have sort of the main storyline quests, and then we also have events coming up. They will probably later on be more randomized, but this one is just to show us what events do. They're very similar to events in Frostpunk. And they will basically be asking us to do something and then there will be a reward for doing it, uh, a significant penalty if we promise to do it and don't do it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it is. The first one is just basically, sorry, ensure there's enough food. So we want to make sure that we get a communal dining. That means we need to make a dining hall that's well, over on the food panel. So we'll make a dining hall. And I think that would, I really like to have it right here, but someone has forgotten to clean out the crates in that area. So we'll put it here instead. There we go. So we're building the mess hall. Right now, we're still working on building uh, the tech lab. We don't need the tech lab right now, but at some point we need it. And while they were chatting away, uh, as always, when the boss is talking, is monologuing, you try to get as much work done as you can in the meantime. So it's not completely waste of time. 
that's also what we do around here. So this is what we have. Let's have a look at the different uh, tiers. We can look at this. This is uh, sort of our uh, outside look of the Tycoon Station. We can build something, but that requires some tech to be unlocked as well. And then we have this star map out here where we can see there are events out here to be discovered, which we will get to uh, soon enough once we, uh, once we have some ships out here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is build the mess hall. Once we have the mess hall built, then we can, can't really make the mess hall because we're working on this. So as soon as this is done, maybe we actually can pause it. And then I wonder if they go... Yeah, then they start working on this one instead. Yeah, let's uh, get this one done first. And then obviously, and I forgot that, we need to make a second stockpile because we also need somewhere to store the food. So we'll store the food in this one and I will be making that high priority just to make sure that this gets to be done before we build all of uh, this part. Not that it matters very much. Uh, you can see this one we can't pick up because we don't have a storage, a stockpile uh, available for the polymers just yet. So at this point we have this one uh, under construction. So the stockpile, we will also need to highlight that it is for food. Food will be then activated here, so we can now get that. And we will be marking this for uh, for emptying these crates. They will be emptied into the storage, and the storage will then be, be ferried over to the food hall, and that's where the people will eat. So it's a quite a simple logistic system by these. You can see that they just teleport over here as long as those five go back, and they will start sort of teleporting back over here. I like that idea. It works pretty neat. All right, let's look at the next, or hear the next uh, transmission. For you, administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your faith, don't you think? I am Henri Barjaville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies. The Ashton Guides. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashton Guides are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Oshanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial destiny. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. All right, so what he wanted us to do is start the space exploration. We have our docking bay where we can make ships. We can make a mining ship. That's not relevant in the, this uh, area. We have a cargo ship that we can start working on and we can make a science ship. So the cargo ship will just be ferrying things back and forth while the, uh, um, uh, the science ship, I was just really puzzled by the spelling of Mendeleev, but I really appreciate it put in some effort into it into the spelling anyway um and the sign ship will be going and discovering these question marks waiting for a sign ship so let's get those two uh, sorted right now we also have an event coming up here uh all crew and some crew members are lacking quarters during human history unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of civilizational decay do not reproduce humanity's basic mistakes aboard the tycoon Ensure all crew have quarters within 12 cycles. We'll get on it. And we have 79. So we will be making a population, or as we like to call it, a uh, people storage here. That is 15 each times, uh, times six. That means we should get uh, 90 storage uh, of humanity in this location. That should be good. We'll also need to do a lot more of the cleaning up in this area so we can get that. I also think that while we're at it, I think I want to build another maintenance so we can get the polymers or sorry, another stockpile so we can get the uh, there. The polymers also harvested there. There. Ah, man. That was actually way more important than uh, this part because the. Um, yeah, let's mark this as high priority. Thank you very much. Because I can't make the ship until I have some polymers. And I can't make the polymers until I have a stockpile. Because I need the stockpile in order to harvest 
these uh, polymer crates. So just sequencing here. Uh, yes, they're working on uh, on these being built, but I actually want this one to be built first. This has a little triangle thaw, and we should have our little worker coming over here. We also have to keep in mind, if we look at up here, hull integrity is how well the tycoon is doing. It's going to degrade over time. Probably not here. The trust is how much do they trust us. Uh, they trust us rather well, so that's uh, pretty good. It increases. Uh, the power is how much power we have in this sector. And uh, we are... Uh, this up here is the total power supply, so we're consuming 28 and we have 60. So we're still good on uh, this one. Actually, I want to resume that uh, afterwards. We want to make sure that we get this built. So quarters, yes, one is built. Uh, construct a cargo ship, we're working on it. Mess hall, yes, they're getting uh, working on this. We now have the stockpile and we can see stuff is being brought back to the stockpile. Immediately from the stockpile, they're gonna be brought in. Priority is always towards delivering to end goals instead of filling up storage. Filling up storage is the lowest priority task, which makes perfect sense, I think. And we will then start construction here. This is now starting the construction of the cargo ship, and then we'll start bringing stuff in for the science ship. In the meantime, let's start harvesting all we can in this region. Uh, this one is being harvested. Uh, this is being built. Let's see, are you under construction? Um, is this where the construction worker is? Don't know. No, nope, it's over over here. We could make another one, another one, another one of these uh, workshops, but it I don't think that's super valuable uh, right now, at least. And I will be cleaning up a few things, like such as that one, uh, because we want to make sure that this space is available for later on. Uh, I do really want to have another stockpile, but I don't think I really need it. So we'll take these two out. Oh, this one has 80s. So that's a big one. Maybe take these two out. These uh, these seem smaller. So get those sorted and that one as well. So we have this area also available. Here we are, the cargo ship is available. And as it leaves, then we can go out into the overlay. We can look, click on the fleet management. And here we have a pretty simplistic view of uh, what they can do. This is what they are, this cargo ship is assigned to do. And so I'll assign it to some food. What I'll also do is you can see here the different high priority, medium, low priority, no, not allowed. So what if we just say everything else is just low priority? Because, you know, if there's something that we can pick up, then just pick it up right now. At least low priority. Uh, we'll also get that one high priority because, you know, alloys. Those are the ones we are going to need. A mining ship, since there's nothing here for mining, then that's not relevant. We have a probe, but we don't have the probe launcher yet. So that's something we will get. We have the different options and we should see that our fleet here uh, Troy is oh it's bringing the 12 back it is unloading resources so if we go back inside that is F1 and they should be unloading resources here that will be brought back into uh, the storage excellent and uh, next up is this one getting done once we have the tech lab done that's going to be one of the next things and then we need the last bit here and also the science vessel so Let's wait for those to be done. There we go. We have the science ship uh, coming on. And we can also see that if we look here, we have one person that's... Uh, uh, there are no active health buildings. So let's uh, throw a health building in here, an infirmary, next to our food hall. So that should be good. They can get that done. And over on the overlay map, we now have our science vessel. The Mendeleev is going to go to the moon. And it takes uh, two, 0.2 cycles to get to the moon. In the meantime, we should also have in here the last... There we go. That gets resolved. And there is no negative effect on that one. And just back up out here. So you see that each of the layers is pretty simple. But there's a lot of things going on. And this is just a tutorial. So you can actually just... Uh, it's, it's enough. It's... It's pleasant that things are simple on each level. Because there are multi-levels to maintain. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power. Transmission from the Mendeleev team. We have reached the UN base. It is abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational. Awaiting orders. We're going to exploit, this, exploit the security vulnerability and that takes one cycle. That should get us a bit of science. Get that done. We have our notifications over here. It says, says that we have arrived. Uh, getting back inside. Uh, what is the next thing we want to do? We got our tech lab. Uh, what how that works is it generates a little bit of tech and we have uh, the tech tree here there are the sort of concentric rings 
And we actually have quite a lot of things unlocked just to uh, even for the very first mission. That's kind of weird in, I feel like, why are they even here at the first round if, if we already have those? Anyway, we only have three things we can unlock and that is the probe launcher, it is the EVA airlock and it is the insect bomb. So we'll be uh, researching this and I'll be sending this one as research next. Can I research? No, okay, that's not what I want. There, research next. So we can queue up one for now and then, well, you can assign one and queue up one. So we'll do the probe launcher first and uh, get that. And then we will be, let's see, what else do we, is there anything we haven't built that we should build? Nope, I don't want to make, make an extra dock at this point. Perfect, we are going to go out to the mission here. We hacked into the main computer systems as you ordered and retrieved several relevant uh, research papers and data sets. That is 10 science and we'll now dismantle the base. So here the science is now available at this location. Uh, this will not be available to us yet and therefore not be consumed in our tech, uh, tech lab. But it is available so that once we are done with this event, then the science vessel, if you uh, keep it around at this location, it'll convert from 10 signs here to 10 signs up here that will then be consumed in our tech lab. Just a bit of a uh, how it works and um, it, it just, yeah, just getting used to that. And if we look at back in here, we don't have much else to do. We could sort of prepare for some of the things that are coming, but uh, our main issue is the fact that we don't have enough power to sustain what we uh, what is what is coming. A science ship team has completed a task. Right, so our science team has completed the task and we, the base has been dismantled almost. Although most equipment was damaged, we were able to prepare some usable resource for extraction. That is 30 alloy we get and 90 science. That's enough science for everything we need in this location. So what we need to do now is leave the science vessel here. It'll just convert the science from this location up to this location. And our little science, uh, our cargo vessel is going back and forth. You can see there's there are 30 available for pickup and since we have marked them as uh, available then that still works. Oops, that is a uh, tutorial. The tutorial is really good. If you don't have me then uh, I'd recommend using the tutorial. It's pretty good. Let's uh, move back in here and we are getting stuff brought back. There should be an event coming uh, as soon as we are we've collected all of the science available then we can uh, get on with the next part. And we've now unlocked the probe launcher and uh, that will get us one more research. Now I have uh, started working on additional uh, crew quarters. The reason for that is, well, first of all, I'm going to need it later on. Second, then uh, what it, it also is, allows me to consume some of the science or the, some of the alloys, which is the stuff that was stuck here that we brought in from our, this, uh, our moon base. But also I need this one to go away because this is where I want to make my uh, probe launcher. <clears throat> So I want to make the probe launcher right here, but I can't do that until we actually get rid of it. There we go. Now we make it. And we have a next transmission because we completed the science, but we are going to fly the Mendeleev science vessel to the Saturn system to get that done. We might as well do that while we wait for, uh, or we listen to the boss talk a bit more. Greetings, administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Tolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Mardu Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. And we are now already uh, way ahead of him. We are unlocking the EVA airlock very soon. So that is research the EVA airlock. That is what we want. And we're going to be building it over here at this location. I will just be making one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's going to be it. 
And the science ship has arrived. Look at us, just timing things exactly correct. So what we do is we want to see uh, a signature trace of an EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any mission to the sector. The signature will soon enter the atmosphere of Saturn. So we can either attempt to locate it. Once the signature has passed through Saturn's atmosphere, the Mendeleev team will analyze EKP uh, residues and verify the signature origin. Or we can send, we perform an EVA to uh, locate and investigate the signature. We'll do, uh, we'll do the more exciting stuff. Good. And jumping back in, you can see we only have four science remaining. That's not a lot. And this one comes online very soon. And as soon as this comes online, uh, the whole thing shuts down. That's glorious. So in preparation, this one is going to take six. So we are going to shut down three of these buildings in uh, preparation for that. There we go. So now we have six available for this one to come online. We also have now completed the EVA airlock, which I will be placing right here. It's almost like I know how much space it's going to take and what a good place to build it is. It's almost like it. So it's just going to be built here. This is also going to take another 90. Make sure you don't build it too close because you can see here there are entrances to other sectors at this location. So make sure that you don't uh, block off other sectors. And oh, we are kind of out of everything. So let's make sure that we can uh, we can harvest more. There. Oh, this one is also still being harvested. So you can see a lot of things uh, is being done. We have here, this one needs to wait for two cycles. Then we have the probe launcher. We actually have built the probe. No, the probe launcher is hmm, getting built under construction. And we got the probe launcher done. We are going to be launching, making one probe. And then we can launch that probe out into the world just to, uh, to explore some more stuff. Uh, this is also at 99. And now it's inactive because we can't really research anything more. Interesting with this, uh, the building is purging waste. That's going to take 1.9 cycles. Uh, I also could and probably should just disable this one. Uh, just we can see up here in the top bar, the green one. If I do that, we buy ourselves a lot more uh, si uh, a lot more power because once the EVA, air EVA airlock is coming in, then it's going to use the total science and let's use this science for that. I think it's time for us to go out here and see if this one is... Uh, ready to go ah what perfect how perfectly uh, coordinated this is and the signature trace uh i think that might be a little bit of a bug because it sends now zero here doesn't matter we'll do it even though it takes three more turns i'm sure it'll be fine and now that this uh is completed uh, it's done purging the waste and it should be getting back online because it was actually not completed it was only at 99 percent. so now it's completed and then we can switch it off so that it's ready for the EVA airlock to take the last remaining 12 power and get on uh, board. And also the infix form has been unlocked. I'm not going to build those yet. Or am I? I might do that because I know that there'll be uh, a cry for, for those very soon. So I might as well just build them now, right? And uh, let's see. That one. I would be nice to build them here. Oh, look at that. That's like perfect location. And then where would the other bears be a perfect location for this? Uh, we'll build one. Let's make it here. We built three. That seems like a lot, but I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to be needing three. And that is done. We also have out on the overlay map. Uh, this is completing, but we have one probe. So let's get one probe here. And then this is a bit of a weird UI. You basically just hover around here and nothing happens. But you can see, oh, oh look at that. There's the per an interest point of interest that's out here huh so let's send the probe out there for example if you want to get like iron or carbon or silicon or hydrogen or water that's ice or points of interest or something i don't know what is objective related point of interest or just point of interest and where is it again there it is so we'll send it to that location so it'll detect what uh, that probe that uh, point of interest could be interesting and in the meantime we'll get this one completed Good. Our science ship is completed. We got uh, a prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of the EKP. We have stripped it down and recovered schematics. Interesting. Interesting. That is 10 free science. 
looking good. Um, didn't get anything else, but we got 10 science for this, for our trouble. And now I could send this one directly up here to Mars, but since that's kind of close, we might as well wait for this. And it's also uh, doing that. So we'll, we'll keep that. We should also be looking here. If you look inside, this is in progress to be built. Once we have uh, the EVA, EVA airlock, then we can start working on actually making adjustments to this layer, which is also pretty damn cool. There we go. The probe has found a location that says unauthorized access. And what do we need? If it says unauthorized access, we know we must go there. That's kind of how the rules are. This is getting built. That will be the next part uh, while we are sending our science ship to the place that is an unauthorized access. And we got the airlock. That is perfect. And what we need to do here at the airlock is that now we can go to the middle tier here and we can start working on some more power because that's kind of desperately needed. We're going to be adding more power here on this solar level. We can go on the other solar level and add a little more solar panels at this location. That is great. Once we have that, we can start adding like really a lot more solar panels, but they're going to be and how about that? We got a blackout and that's because we got one of these insect farms online. So, there we go. Yeah, that's another problem. We just need to do that, empower the tycoon, and we will get more power. Once this is done, you can see we got 10 of these, and we are now... Can you just close the transmission? Once we build the solar panels, it's going to be awesome. Let's have a look uh, what is going on. And, yeah, okay, tutorial power, tutorial, tutorial. Out here, something has happened. We have arrived at our unauthorized access. Let's see what this is. Warning, by proceeding beyond this point, you are breaching the terms of your contract with Dolores AEC. Further action can and will result in summary dismissal. Naomi Protocol, create temporary easement. Uh, uh, contact the station out of hope. Shut down communication. Ah, we want to contact them. Incoming transmission, Tycoon Station. This is Marduk Council Member Rabla Nayokun. Oh, yeah, okay. You, hello. Um, you are not authorized to interface with Outer Hope. The purpose of this facility is to allow Dulles to continue the development of its most highly classified projects, far away from the prying eyes of our competitors and the media conglomerates of Earth. Do you not realize that the whole world is watching you at this moment and that your presence here could jeopardize the, this entire operation? I'll be filing an official complaint with Vanier himself. Unless, perhaps, you can do something for me that may change my mind. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you just wander into a secret facility and instead of just going like, go away, they go like, hey, welcome to secret facility. This is where we do secret research. Please go away now. Or, send resources. A cargo ship will transport resources. Oh, so you want a nice little bribe. Of course you do. Of course you do. We'll send you a bribe. There we go. I mean, that's how we just uh, grease the wheels of uh, all the organization. By just, uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And so far, I think there's a bit of, a, of scratching needed. So what we'll do is, uh, we'll see here, we'll be loading. You can see that they are being loaded. The goods in here, once it gets to 30, we will get the ship and it'll be uh, getting inbound here. Uh, once we get the last, the next power here, this power, once that's being done on the outside, then we get more power. We are at 60 of 60. Build a section of solar panels. That is very close to complete right now. There we go. We got the solar panels and we got a lot more power. That means we can start firing things up again. Uh, we can get you online. We can get you online. And I'm not going to get the last one online because... I think I want. I, I think we'll get an event that says need more food, but uh, we'll uh, we'll try to get that online again, and we'll get everything else online. There we go. And more stuff is being brought in. What we can do over here at this level, we can also just start working on the Vol engine itself. Let's uh, make sure that we do that, because that's kind of the objective. And it would be kind of sad if we used all of our crates of goodies and spent them all on uh, honestly useless stuff. So at the on the outside, uh, how are we coming in? Well, let's bring our bribe to the unauthorized secret facility out of hope. And our bribe has been delivered. Thank you, administrator. Now leave. 
I will ensure the Dolores issues a public statement that rationalizes our contact here at the edge of the solar system. We'll pl I'll placate uh, Venia for now, uh, but you'll need to explain your actions in due course. You might have heard uh, we're working on the next iteration of the Tycoon, the Protagoras. The Tycoon operation must succeed if we are to achieve our goal of bringing humanity into a new era. Trust in genetic conatus. The self-similar space will reveal the pattern. I guess that's the kind of the company uh, motto. So, and we get a pretty good reward. 30, uh, 30 alloys for two processors and 20... Uh, yes, please. And our ship will pick that up immediately because we had the foresight to mark everything as being default. Otherwise, it would start heading back and then, yeah. So that's great. We will take our science ship and head all the way up to Mars. That's a long time come, uh, to go there, but four cycles. In the meantime, let's have a look at the progress. We are making the Vol engine. That's what we're being, we're working on, right? Yeah, that must be the Vol engine we're working on. Uh, Vol engine, yeah, 35 out of 100. That seems good. I don't know why that's 18%, uh, but they are being, it's being brought in here and it is, yeah, so that's good. Let's get that working. And as the Vol engine is nearing completion, I think it's a good time for us to start working on the next level of solar panels. There and there. They're kind of expensive, but uh, I think that's it's valuable. It's not like we are not going to use it. There we go. We got the, the Vol engine completed and we have an incoming transmission. Let's pick up the phone from the boss. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Depart from the solar system. All right, so we got extra resources here, 40 food and 100 workers. Let's make sure that we have uh, enough. If we have 79 right now and we have 180 uh, rooms, then Total welcomed. Oh, right. There might actually be... Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll build a few more. There's no reason not to. Let's build a few more. They might as well. And we're bringing stuff inbound. Uh, the food here is being brought into our food storage here. Uh, I have don't have a, race, a place to store this. So, I don't know. Um, maybe we should build a storage for that. Seems a bit wasteful. Arrived at Mars. That sounds good. There, we'll build this one. And this will be... No, it'll be for processors. Let's have a look at what ha is happening at Mars at this moment. The UN established a facility on Mars. Its crew are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical fault in their oxygen supply system. They have submitted an official request to dollars for aid. Repair the facility in exchange for resources. Repair it in exchange for research data. So I don't really want the research data because we kind of have enough of that. Um, maybe that's a bad mistake, but I want the resources here. So we'll send our cargo ship over with 20 alloys to fix the stuff. And that should be uh, should be good. Then we'll fix that. In the meantime, our cargo ship should be going back and forth here between uh, the two locations. Uh, let's have a look at it. Look at the fleet and look at the status. Unloading resources. 15 crew is uh, being unloaded at... Yep, and they will then find their way into the new homes. You can see the tally is increasing. In the meantime, we are also bringing stuff in for additional housing complexes. We didn't get, and maybe I built these too early. Ah, too bad. Uh, there usually it would be an event that says we need more food, build three insect farms, but maybe because we built three insect farms in the beginning, then uh, that uh, event doesn't trigger. Who knows? I don't, at least. Uh, there we go. We're going to build that. This one doesn't serve any purpose. Then we have lots of space out here for whatever we want to build later on. Because there will be a later on. There will definitely be... We'll continue this. This. Uh, this. It's not like we throw away the tycoon and build a new one. Uh, I would imagine that we are going to continue and then expand to new areas as uh, we progress. All right. There is a new request coming in. And let's see. Reports are being received related to the Barsh... Bargeville Klein optimization protocols on board the Tycoon. They indicate that crew members are being overworked. Although Dolos, the employment contract, make it clear that the high degree of flexibility is required, this situation is beginning to take its toll on morale. 
uh, it would be pragmatic to deploy additional crew and reduce number of concurrency ac concurrently active workplaces. Request additional staff uh, from Osanabi. Yeah, let's do that. So we get 20 more. We also got the 100 more. So I think it's because uh, uh, we got we activated this one. This takes 30 just for no reason. So we'll deactivate it for now. And then we should on a worker part here. Uh, let's see. Workers... 99 out of 88. So I guess the 88 is how many are being requested. And also, let's see. Hospitalized, injured, starving, and homeless. That's a good place to have. Zero colonists, cryonic parts. It's interesting, all these things. Like Also, colonists kind of indicate what's going to go uh, happening a bit later as well. Unfortunately, we have sent our cargo ship on a long mission all the way up to Mars. So it's going to take a while before it uh, transfers all the crew here, the 100 crew. Uh, but it'll get started on that. Let's have a look at how this event unfolds. Uh, the oxygen supply system has been repaired and relationship between dollars and our competitor has been improved by 36%. What an absolutely useless percentage to add here. How do you define that? I don't know. There must be marketing doing that. Uh, we, but we got some more resources. Unfortunately, that means that we'll have to come back for that later on. For the fleet management, let's make sure that... Um, that Food and people are a bit higher priority than that. So we're going to make sure that you go here to pick up and then go to that location. Great. In the meantime, do we have anything else that we want to build? Uh, not right now, not when we have more. Uh, we, we have, yeah, we've, we have lots of stuff to do here. Like this one is not powered, but it's also nothing for us to research. Oh, look at that. We can actually research things. I did not know. That's so cool. I want everything now. A uh, cryogenic center, or a battery, or a steel mill. I know I need all of this. Oh, I want to take that. I'll take that one. We'll start working on a battery, and we will also make sure that we switch on the power. And now we can look at here. We are now seeing that we have 99 out of 118. So we have 118 jobs, but only 99 workers. I think this is the only thing we, place we can see that. It would be nice to see somewhere else to see an indication that of overwork. Uh, maybe that'll be here, sector one. It doesn't say how many. Okay, now we go with optimal condition, working condition. Oh, okay, there we go. Workers available in sector is 26 and 18 workers are required for the sector. Great. Working. And that's the healthy competition and the mass thing. Uh, the science ship can and probably should head to, Ma to uh, the moon because that's where we want to go later on. And we just need to bring the resources in. Once we have all the resources brought in, then we can go on to the next. And we have now delivered all of the parts, uh, all of the parts, <laughs> human parts. And we will receive the incoming transmission from our boss. Administrator, the different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Woohoo! We've been deemed competent. Excellent. So, let's hear what the boss has to say and uh, just have a look around in the meantime. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. 
Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Awesome. So, now we, um, uh, that's the 100 workers has been assigned and we now need to move the Tycoon to the moon orbit. Let's do that. Uh, while we do that, nothing else can happen. Look at this beautiful, I love that. It's like a little bit of a cutscene here between uh, it goes and it just like, like gets catapulted. So it sort of circles around the, the sun, uh, the earth one time, it gets a, a bit of a gravitational throw. And we should also wait for the cargo ship to revert. It should be coming back to to the Tycoon first with the delivery of, uh, what is it carrying? It's carrying the polymers. And at that point, we're actually ready. So we move it into the Earth orbit and then we initiate the vol jump via the button on the planetary system. That is this one. Uh, vol engine stage to disable. Tycoon is moving. Yeah, so we need to uh, to wait until it's, it's stabilized. So it's in the process of moving to the moon and it is done now. There we go. We can now do the vol engine, but we are going to wait for the cargo ship to come back. However, uh, the, when I press this button, then a magical, awesome cutscene will play, and that will be the combination of uh, the first chapter of this and also the first episode of this Let's Play. Uh, this means that we'll be wrapping up here, and I very, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, this episode. If you want to see more, then be sure to hit the like button, uh, let me know in the comment section if there's something I missed, something you'd want a different focus on, uh, all that stuff, and of course, uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more on this channel. And it also, well, of course, it helps me. If you want to just want more, 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 more in terms of uh, of uh, Ixian right now, then uh, come to Twitch tonight at 8 p.m. Central European time. I'll be uh, streaming it. It'll be a separate series, and it'll be just steamrolling ahead uh, for many hours tonight on uh, on Ixian. So uh, just come on over, Twitch TV slash Nilos at 8 p.m. Central European time. If you're watching this somewhere in the future, and uh, then... Uh, still come on over to Twitch because I'm probably streaming another game at exactly that time. So thank you all for watching and let's fire up the Vol Engine and see what uh, magic happens. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. 
We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.